All right, Liam, I'm counting on you to take care of the house today. If things wrap up early, I'll be home in three days. Chill out, babe. I've got it all handled. I know you're stressed about your dad being in the hospital, so don't sweat it. We're good here, so take all the time you need. Thanks a bunch. I've got a freezer stocked up with food, but if you're too swamped to cook, take Beverly out for a meal instead. You got it, babe. That's gonna make things a whole lot smoother. I seriously hit the jackpot with an amazing and thoughtful wife like you. I'm one lucky dude, no doubt about it. Hey, that's really sweet. But don't stop there, honey. I can always use more compliments from you, you know? <laughs> All right, enough with the funny business. I gotta run. They're calling for boarding, and I don't want to miss my flight. Catch you later. Take care. Tell your parents hi for me. Hello? Haley? I recently heard from my son that you'll be staying with your parents starting today. Can you give me some more details about what's going on? Yes. Unfortunately, my dad's health took a turn for the worse and he had to be hospitalized. It's been really tough, and I'm really concerned about my mom being on her own during this time. That's why I feel it's important for me to be there with her and provide support. I heard that you're going to be gone for three days. Yeah, that's true. I decided to take it easy while I'm at it. Oh, I wish you had mentioned it sooner. Just think about how it would be if Beverly were suddenly dropped off on your doorstep without any prior notice. Wait a second. What do you mean? I just received a call from Liam, informing me that you'll be heading to your parents' place, and he mentioned that you need someone to take care of Beverly. He insisted that I should be the one to look after her on behalf of both of you. What are you talking about? Honestly, this is the first time I've heard about this. As your daughter-in-law, it's important to consider these matters and plan ahead. It seems like there might have been a miscommunication. Because when I asked Liam, he mentioned that you might have unintentionally forgotten to inform us about your plans. You can't be serious. I understand that you were looking forward to visiting, but can you please be a bit more responsible about it? You know, I've got my own plans and schedule to juggle too. Let's make sure we keep each other in the loop next time, okay? Hold on a sec. Is everything alright with Beverly? Liam told me that he would take care of her, so I'm a bit confused about the situation. Of all the ridiculous things... I swear, I'm not making this up. He specifically assured me that he had everything under control at home, so I didn't even consider asking you for help in the first place. Take a moment to think about it. Liam has a demanding job. Considering all the overtime he puts in, it's just not feasible for him to take care of a first grader like Beverly. It'd be too much work for my son to handle. Well, he actually told me that he could manage to wrap up work on time and take care of our daughter. So I trusted him on that. I didn't make any of this up, I promise. I was simply going by what he had communicated to me. Listen, Haley, I understand that you may not want to rely on your in-laws too much, but in a situation like these, don't hesitate to ask for help. I'm sure Liam knew how you'd feel about it and genuinely offered to take care of things himself. That's just the kind of considerate guy he is. I get it. It might feel a little awkward to admit that you forgot to give me a heads up about all of this ahead of time, but it's okay. We're here to support you. Are you for real? I'm not sure we're talking about the same person. If you think about it, it makes sense, doesn't it? My son was busy with work, couldn't possibly take care of the child. But he said he could do it. All right, enough talking. I'm heading out to pick up Beverly now. While you're away, we'll take care of her without a hitch. That works for you, doesn't it? No worries, we've got it covered. Yes, sorry for putting you through trouble. 
Thank you very much. No kidding. I was planning to head to the city too. I'm sorry. As long as you understand, give my greetings to your parents as well. Liam, what's the meaning of this? You said you'd look after Beverly yourself. Hmm? Are you mad at me? Oh, guess what? Your mom just called and decided to throw some shade my way. She basically told me to just lie down and depend on her. Hey, I'm sorry about all that. Something urgent popped up at work and I need to put in some extra hours to sort it out. That's why I reached out to my mom and asked her to look after Beverly for me. I know it's not ideal, but I had to find a solution quickly. I hope you understand. Well, then you should have explained that to her. You made it seem like it was my fault for not reaching out to her, didn't you? Instead of blaming me, it would have been better if you clarified the situation and let her know that it was your decision to ask for her help due to the work situation. Look, I feel bad enough. I thought I could look after our daughter by myself, but I was embarrassed to say that I couldn't, so... All that just to protect your pride? When I get home, you're going to explain everything to your mother in front of me. Got it? Got it. I'm really sorry. So, in the end, it's going to be your parents that are looking after Beverly, right? That means I'll need to buy some gifts to appease them. Okay, I'll pay you back later. Pick up some local souvenirs or something for me if you can. I'll see what I can do. Work hard and take care, all right? Roger that. Haley? Hurry up and pick up. What are you doing? Sorry, I'm at the hospital now. Phones aren't allowed here. What's going on? Fire? Wait, what? A fire! It's on fire! What is on fire? Please just calm down and tell me exactly what's going on there. What are you talking about? Your house is on fire? Are you serious? Yes, your guy's house is on fire. What? Why is it on fire? Oh my goodness, I saw a convoy of fire trucks rushing past my place and there was smoke in the distance. It seemed to be coming from the direction of your house. I hurried over to check it out and I couldn't believe my eyes. It looks like your house is engulfed in flames. Where are you right now? Oh my god! What's going on? Are you there right now? I got about as close as I could before the fire department shoved me away. Couldn't believe it. Okay, but what happened? I tried to ask, but they wouldn't tell me anything. Oh, I'm so sorry this happened. It's like a nightmare here. But the most important thing is... You got Beverly there, right? She wasn't in the house? Is she fine? Is Beverly hurt? Fortunately, she was able to get out before the flames got too serious. So yeah, she's okay and with me now. Oh, thank God she's alright. I was so worried. This is no time to relax. Have you gotten a call from Liam? I can't get a hold of him no matter how many times I call. Oh God, no. I haven't tried calling him. Beverly said she was by herself, so he probably wasn't home. But I'm still worried. Where could he be? Let's try to calm down a little bit. Liam said he would be working overtime because there was some trouble that came up. Work? What are you talking about? What do you mean? Because I, I couldn't get a hold of him. The first place I called was the office. But they told me he took a paid vacation and wasn't in. What? A paid vacation? I honestly never heard of it. You really have no idea where else he could be? His house is on fire and my son is nowhere to be found. I've been in tears just thinking about what might have happened. Angeline, please try to relax. I'm going to call Liam now. Please take care of Beverly in the meantime. I'll do that. I'm pretty sure he told me he'd be at work. Maybe if there was some miscommunication with the person who fielded your call? You could be right. That is a possibility. I'm counting on you.
please contact me as soon as you hear anything from my son. He's definitely safe, so please relax until I can contact him. You need to call me back right now. Something horrible happened. What's your problem? I already told you there's a serious issue at the office and I'm swamped with work right now. Your constant calls have been nothing but annoying and distracting. Can't you just give me some space to deal with things? Thank goodness you're not hurt. What are you talking about? Are you daydreaming or something? Liam, where are you now? Please tell me the honest truth. What do you mean, where? I literally just told you that I have to work overtime, didn't I? But your colleague told me that you didn't come in today and took a few days vacation. That's not possible. They must have mistaken me for someone else. Where are you? Really? And where exactly are you working while we're supposed to be on vacation? I had no idea you were such a workaholic. Well, um, it's a little complicated, you know? If you aren't at the office, you can take my call, can't you? Explain this to me over the phone right now. My patience is wearing really, really thin. Well, you see, I can't talk on the phone because the signal here is pretty bad. Bad signal? Where the hell are you? The subway. Look, I just got home. I just got back from the station. You've got to be kidding me. The subway? What on earth are you talking about? What do you mean? Look, it's late, so I gotta hurry up and cook something. Then I need to give her a bath, so I'm busy. Very busy now, so I'll see you tomorrow. Cook dinner? Take a bath? Are you really at home? Of course. Where else would I be? The home you came to be at is burning to the ground. What are you talking about? So, what was it you were going to do in the house on fire? You're going to cook dinner for our daughter and then bathe her? You really are amazing. Going about your duties in flames. Burning house? What are you talking about? No. What are you talking about? The house is on fire and Beverly is with Angeline. With all this going on, what are you, her father, doing? Well... Come on. Explain it to me nice and easy. What are you doing with those vacation days, hmm? Tell me where you are. Um, well, I, uh... Well, it was more of a spontaneous decision. I took some paid leave on the spur of the moment, you know? I figured it would be nice to have a break and recharge. Oh, so you can just get vacation days on a whim? How convenient! It's funny how much coaxing it took you to take a single day off for our daughter's career day. But I guess that was a busy time, right? Anyway, where exactly are you now? You mentioned you were in the subway, correct? I was at the, um, uh, you know, corner store. Then you should be able to come home soon, right? Come home, right this instant. I just got off my return flight. I'll be home soon. Well, it's not that easy, you see. Now what? It should only take you about five minutes to get back from the store. Your parents are in the same neighborhood as us. You can head there if you want. Hear me out. I know I said the corner store, but what if I told you it was in the next state over? Come again? Well, I'll be back tomorrow. Sorry about that. Battery's dying. Gotta go. What the hell are you talking about? I just can't come back right now, okay? I'll leave Haley in yours and mom's caring hands. Later! Haley, what's been going on? Did you manage to get a hold of my son? Yes, I did get a response of sorts. That's wonderful. I'm so glad he's safe. So where is he? Obviously, he'll leave the office right away because of the situation, right? No, he seems to be at a corner store in the next state over. He what? What's that supposed to mean? It means he won't be able to come back until tomorrow. He turned off his phone. So now no one can reach him. What do you mean the next state over? 
my son was at work, right? That's what I want to believe. But is that really the truth? What are you trying to say? That my son was skipping out on work and was doing something else? He probably got an emergency call to visit a client out of state. You know he had some business with a spa resort, right? A spa resort? After getting my head on straight, I realized I have a GPS tracker on my phone. A friend encouraged me to install it because you never know when dementia is going to hit at our age. Oh yeah, I remember you saying something about that. So I asked Liam to set it up for me. And for practice, I put his phone's GPS info in. Really? I was going to change it back to my info, but forgot how to. So Liam's GPS info is still logged in. So that's how you know he's at a spa resort in a different state? That's right. Liam's company does some marketing work. So it's probably connected to that. Would that by any chance be Evergreen Spa Resort? Oh, you got it in one. I remember seeing a flyer for that on the coffee table before. I thought he was planning a family vacation or something. Or something? Or are you accusing my son of cheating on you? I have yet to use the word, but it's very telling that you jumped straight to that conclusion. Is it possible that it's you that believes he's cheating? That's impossible. What kind of parent doesn't trust their own child? That's a wonderful quote for a throw pillow. But what do you really think? I'll get there sometime in the middle of the night. Sorry about the trouble, but please take care of our daughter until then. Sure, yeah. That goes without say. Thank you very much. I added a little extra for your dinner, so feel free to eat it when you get here. Hey, Haley. I was thinking about something. How much do you reckon we'll be able to claim from the fire insurance? I'm guessing we should get a decent amount, considering our entire house went up in flames. They've got to compensate us in some way, don't you think? Are you kidding me? That's the first thing you bring up? I just went to the site of the fire, and everything was drenched from the firefighting efforts. It's a total loss. We'll have to rebuild the entire house from scratch. Can you believe it? That's precisely why I'm curious about the insurance payout. I'm hoping it's enough for us to build one of those cool new smart homes. It could be a silver lining in this unfortunate situation, you know? It would be awesome to have some modern features in our rebuilt home. For real? Is that what's going on in your head now? Why are you so carefree in this situation? Because we're in a situation like this. Money is important here, so I'm looking out for us. You're unbelievable. Sorry about yesterday. I got a sudden call from a client in the next state over and just couldn't get away. Because of that, I'm sorry that I worried you so much. Is that the story you're going with? So let's use this experience to work together as a family and appreciate what we have. We'll start by building a new house. I know that you have your suspicions about me, but I promise that this family means everything to me. This family means everything to me? Don't make me laugh. I want a divorce. The gig is up, you cheating jerk bag. What? What are you even saying? Where did this even come from? Thanks to your mom's GPS app, we have all the details about your whereabouts. It doesn't matter if you turn off your phone. We still know everything up until that point. So... It seems like you had quite a blast at the Evergreen Spa Resort last night, huh? Care to explain yourself? You... you tracked me? This is unbelievable! Hey, this morning, I went to see what's left of our house, and guess what? The fire completely opened up that secret chamber of yours that you never let me into. It's all exposed now. Just thought you should know. You looked inside? I specifically told you not to go in there. Is it really that difficult for you to comprehend basic human language? I mean, seriously. Of course. I had a little look around. And you know what? Now I have a mountain of proof that you cheated on me. Oh, God. 
I couldn't care less about how much we get from the fire insurance. Be prepared for serious alimony and child support bills. You've got to be kidding me. Haley, this is all just a huge misunderstanding. I was only joking around. None of it was serious. I didn't mean to cause any harm or upset you. I apologize if it came across differently. Let's clear things up and move past this, okay? I don't want to hear a single excuse from you, Liam. You put our daughter's life in jeopardy. You left a first grade girl all by herself just so you could go on a spa vacation with some whore? Do you even realize the gravity of what you've done? This is utterly unacceptable, and I am beyond furious with your reckless actions. Listen, I'm sorry, and I genuinely regret my actions. I thought she would be all right for just one night since she's already in first grade. I left some easy to heat frozen meals for her, so I thought she'd be fine. It turns out Beverly tried putting one of those frozen meals in the microwave, just like she's seen me do countless times. But instead of saran wrap, she covered it with aluminum foil. Oh no, an adult would know the problem with that. But Beverly is a child. They understand a lot, but not enough. You left that child alone, in the house! I'm sorry. Let me try to make things right. If sorry was enough, there would be no need for the police. You're going to be held responsible for all of this. I can't believe you came back without a care in the world. After the divorce, you'll never see your daughter again. Hold on a second. That's not fair. I've been trying to explain to you all along that this is just a massive misunderstanding. Lily, well, she was nothing more than a fling. I don't have any feelings for her or anything like that. Actually, she tricked me. That woman tricked me into sleeping with her. And honestly, she's not even that attractive. When I compare her to you, she doesn't even come close in terms of beauty. Please, let's try to sort this out and not let a mistake destroy everything we have together. Oh, Lily, right? That's actually a beautiful name. I hope you'll have a happy life with her. You pathetic excuse for a human being. Guess what? I've got the divorce papers right here, and I'm not wasting any time. You better drag your sorry self to your parents' house ASAP. You're going to sign those papers right in front of them. It's time for you to face the consequences of your actions. We were able to go through the divorce process without any major issues. It turns out my ex-husband, Liam, had left his own daughter alone at home to go off on a rendezvous with another woman. As soon as Angeline, his mother, found out about it, she broke down in tears, blaming herself for trusting her son. She came to me, practically begging for forgiveness and offering her support, saying, If you need anything, you make my son deal with it. Now... You might be wondering what happened to Liam after all this. Well, word got out around the neighborhood about his affair, which led to him being ostracized by the community. Not only that, but both he and the other woman, who happened to be a co-worker, were fired from their jobs. To make matters worse, the woman he had the affair with was also married, so her husband demanded alimony payments. As a result, all the money from the fire insurance went down the drain in one fell swoop. Liam had to pay out of his own pocket to clean up the fire aftermath, leaving him in significant debt. It seems like karma caught up with him in more ways than one. <laughs>